So after watching this week's episode of WandaVision, I gotta imagine that everybody who's a fan of Marvel or the MCU is feeling the same way. We all feeling like Michael Irvin. But we want more. We need more. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reactions, sometime trailer breakdowns. We do a lot of stuff involving film just to get people talking. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and help me keep growing my channel. So this week's episode of Captain Marvel was a bit of a reveal, but not necessarily still everything that we want. That's why I started the video with the we want more because there's so much more that still needs to be explained as far as who is the villain? How long has the villain been the villain? How did all these different things get set up behind the scenes? How did the initial possession or mind control of Wanda start? How is Monica Rambeau and Darcy going to be able to actually physically confront Agatha and what I assume to be Nightmare based on other people's rumors as well as just the, the weird creepy presence of Pietro? It's strange. It's like... I feel like the, the show kind of peaked at episode four or five where you got the behind the scenes look and, and, and what was happening in the real world. But at the same time, the stuff that's going on now is still strangely intriguing and has me on the edge of my seat just as much as episodes four and five, which I kind of feel like were the best two episodes thus far. We heard that rumor. Everybody heard that rumor that this would be an hour long episode as long as, as well as the next two you know the the penultimate and the final finale would be hour-long episodes but they didn't turn out to be that way and that's fine as long as you get the story kind of wrapped up and you give us all that information as far as how did things go when uh, Wanda attacked the sword base are they gonna reveal the leader of sword to be an actual villain as well or an antagonist as well or will that kind of stay hidden and he kind of gets away with it I don't know what are they going to do with that as well? Uh, it's clearly Wanda's not the bad guy, though. Clearly, there's more evil afoot. I love the reveal of, like, Agatha all along with the little song and then showing, you know, the moments before the credits or the things that we don't see on camera. So that was cool to see. She was pretending a whole bunch. And uh, she did a very good job as far as, like, the acting goes at, and as well as, like, the way the show was written to make her seem. Uh, in, incredibly genuine she she really seemed believable like ah, this Agatha thing this Agnes thing that people are talking about online may not be anything but it turns out it's something and it's significant now I also want to talk about Photon so when I talk about Captain Marvel I only have three points of reference I have these three comics right so this one is featuring the male Captain Marvel uh, not that much information comes from it this one again is still the male Captain Marvel. Hope you can see it, hope it's in frame. But this one, this is the one that I consistently refer to when I think of Monica Rambeau. Like every time they call her captain on the show and I'm, it trips my mind that she's in the military. So she's a captain in the military. But as I think of Captain Marvel each time I hear that. And when I think of Captain Marvel, this is the version that I think of because Growing up reading these very same comics, this was the only version of Captain Marvel I had ever seen that was female. I had never seen the Carol Danvers version. To me, the likeness is close enough. I really feel like they've done all the things they need to do to make her appear to be a photon. You know, when Monica was pushing through the barrier to get into West Westview, uh, you could hear lines of dialogue that come from the Captain Marvel movie. And I was just thinking to myself, like, are they going to reveal some backstory about her? Did she some type of way get some type of powers from Carol Danvers? So who knows? I just hope that that gets revealed. I hope that we get some reveals about the initial attack on Sword so Wanda could steal Vision's body. Hope we get to find out what happens to the leader of Sword and see if he's going to be full on bad guys or is he going to get away with it and continue to create these sentient weapons there's a lot that i want to know so let me know what you want to know the most in the comments uh, i enjoyed this week i'm gonna continue to enjoy it i'm gonna be back for falcon and winter soldier as soon as they start coming out enjoy yourself guard your heart come back and see more videos with your boy